hey guys and welcome back to my channel so today i'm gonna be decluttering my unfinished basement um i've been putting this off for a while a, a while if you've been watching my vlogs i ordered these totes <laughs> right here um to declutter the basement and organize it into these totes um i'll link these down below that was like september so yeah i am finally taking the time to actually declutter and organize and sort and get rid of stuff i'll also be sharing some tips on how to organize um your basement as well so if you have something you want to clean and organize pop me up on your tv or on your phone or on your computer and let's get decluttering all right guys so right here is the basement you never see me go this go down here but uh yeah we're, this is our podcast stuff this is um yeah easter stuff christmas stuff but yes guys let's get into this basement and i know you guys aren't going to judge me because you guys are my friends so yeah like even these steps they need to be swept okay all right so here is all of the clutter and it's just half the basement and this is the other half. But, guys, this is crazy. Like, it got out of hand this year. Once I, like, became pregnant, I stopped doing parties. And, yeah, it's a bunch of, like, old baby toys of Kinkins. Because I wasn't sure if I was going to need them. But I don't. Um, let's walk this way. Um, decorations. Like I said, more party stuff. It's like party stuff everywhere. It's like need to be sorted and organized. Like it's Christmas stuff. Is that a shovel? Buckets. A washing machine that don't work. Uh, our current washing machine and dryer that will be staying here. Um, look this is totes of clothes and i think this is all decoration like christmas stuff this is a bike box of recycled um laundry bins and stuff like look at the book bag it's just so dusty it's horrible y'all it's really creepy down here i don't like basements um it's dusty it's like some spiders so i'm gonna pop my hood on bring the bluetooth speaker down and we're gonna get to decluttering this basement today, period. All right guys, I know an area like this with so much stuff can be overwhelming and you don't know where to start or what to start with. My advice to you is just to start exactly where you are. Just start picking up stuff um you can get three bags and they could be one for trash one you keep and one you want to give away to like the goodwill or family member or something and just start sorting right where you are into those bags or boxes that you use Also, when you're decluttering, make sure you're putting things in piles, especially if they're not already grouped together. Just start putting things in piles like I'm doing right here. I found a bunch of books and DVDs. So I'm just sorting out which ones are trash, what will I keep, and what will I give away. Colin being fussy. The car seat isn't even that old and it's still good. 
And I think I got the stroller somewhere. Or I might have threw the stroller away. So, I don't know. We'll see. But, yeah, I still got all of this go through. Which, again, this stuff over there is it's kind of sorted. It's like in boxes. So, it's, this side isn't going to be as bad. <laughs> Another tip or rule when you are decluttering and organizing anywhere in your house is try not to keep things just in case. Like, I'm going to keep this item just in case I need it. Like, if you haven't used it in over a year, probably even six months to a year or longer you're not going to need it it's just taking up space and you can give it away to someone else that's going to use it tomorrow so yeah try not to keep items that you think you may need like just get them again later which might be two years later when you're actually going to use the item This is the second thing that I've found broken, which is a, you know, what do you call those things that hold a, a dispenser, like a juice dispenser for a party. And it was a cake dish for a party as well that was <sighs> ruined. But I'm about to go through this whole thing right here. This used to be upstairs in my room. It's just a bunch of pictures like a bunch of pictures so yeah i gotta go through this and make sure all of this stuff up with like some of your old artwork as well so yeah let's sort this I'm honestly surprised more stuff wasn't broken downstairs just because everything was on top of each other. Um, but yeah, now I need two new juice dispensers for parties. Alright guys, so this box was from our previous apartment that I never unpacked when we moved into this house. And it's literally a box of pictures in picture frames. Um, and they're inside of other boxes wrapped in paper. So I just got rid of this picture frame right here and kept the pictures because I didn't want the frame anymore. And just made sure yeah, all of these were still wrapped in wasn't broken and but yeah they were still fine from when we moved in previously so i, I need to find something to do with these pictures in the new house <laughs> I don't know if you guys will be able to tell but I feel like I have so much party supplies um it don't make no sense we haven't had a party since last Thanksgiving and it's about to be Thanksgiving again um the pandemic really messed up my little business I had going on with decorating parties but yeah you see I have all of these table linens and backdrops that I'm sorting and putting it putting it away in a bin. <gasps> so
so right now I'm just breaking down the boxes to my Cricut machine and my easy press and just boxes that like the, the items are upstairs and I've just been holding on to the boxes just in case I need to like I don't know transport it or something somewhere but I'm look it's taking up space they gotta go I'm not putting it putting them back in the box to take them to the new house I'll probably just put them in a tote or something so yeah I got rid of all of those because like I said they're just taking up space at this point Another great tip for decluttering and organizing your basement is to store items in these storage bins or totes, whatever you like to call them. Um, it just helps keep your basement organized. Um, it gives everything a home because again, everything needs a place. Nothing should be out of place. And right now, I mean, the whole basement is out of place. But yes, put everything in your totes and make it look so much better in your basement when you walk downstairs Another great tip for decluttering and organizing your basement is to think vertical guys go vertical start stacking stuff on top of each other especially like the totes um, which I'm gonna label those as well just so I can remember what's in each tote but yes put things against the wall and go vertical like stack things so everything won't be laying across the floor which will give the basement or your garage a junky feeling as well So right now I'm just organizing these mini toolboxes I got from the Dollar Tree a while ago. They were organized but now they're a hot mess. So I'm just going to go through this and sort through this box of what I don't need and what I do need. Um, but yeah, I really need to get a bigger toolbox to hold everything. Alright guys, so that area is like mainly put together. Um, this back area is all clothes and holiday um, decorations. So I'm going to go through every one of those totes and put them in the totes with the yellow lids. Get rid of some stuff and do the same thing for the clothes. Yeah, so that's what we're going to do right now so i feel like this will be faster because it's already sorted it's already in bins and it's just a lot of dust and gotta clean that stuff up wipe down the machines and do all that but let's go i basically do this every year anyway which is to get rid of some old decor to make room for some new decor um so some of this stuff is years old that i've been I had since Samir was little um, and then that's still good and then some of this is like new stuff that I like pick up every year but again this was relatively easy I'm just literally switching bins and throwing some stuff out
Another great tip when decluttering and organizing your basement is to put the things that you use the most in the front and then the things that you don't use that often, put them in the back of the basement or the garage. Um, for example, we don't use our holiday decor that often. We don't use our seasonal clothes. We don't have to switch those out as often. So we put all of that stuff in the back of the basement. The arts and crafts and the party decor um, is in the front of the basement because I use that more often. Okay, so it's day two and I'm back at it organizing this basement, but it's just the back end, which isn't a lot. Um, I already went through these totes and didn't even realize it um, a while ago, so they're pretty organized, but I have to get like all my husband army clothes off of the floor and out of that bag, but every other tote was already organized. I didn't even have to do much. All right, so these next few areas, I am definitely guilty of not cleaning, which this is where the detergent sits. Um, I gotta get better with cleaning off this area. I just pour the detergent in and put it back down and keep going. And the steps, oh my goodness, I don't know the last time if ever, if I've swept these steps, like I don't know when. Like I'm not even gonna lie to you guys, but that wasn't that hard and I definitely need to do it more often. What can I say any more than desire? More than just a pretty face. So girl, you better walk away. I did try to swift for them to get them a little bit cleaner. Um that didn't work, but they it looked a little bit better once it dried. All right, so me and Samira used my Cricut machine and we made these stickers for the tote so I can know what's inside of each tote. But she actually was the one that put them on for me and she literally did every tote. It had to be like 15 to 17 totes. Baby, I'm a fighter, never backing down. Baby, I'm a soldier, standing my ground. So if you're gonna fight me for my heart, all right guys here is the final outcome of how it came out i am very pleased happy and satisfied um i think it looked amazing um i hope this motivated you guys to tackle an area that you've been avoiding in your house because this was definitely an area that i've been avoiding for some time now i hope those tips that i suggested help you get started as well um again just to get it done just you know rip the band-aid off and do it but as always guys if you aren't subscribed please make sure you do so i would love for you to join our family the kings and as always thank you guys for watching bye if you try to come closer i'm gonna give you some closure before you know it it's over so run away run away I'm not trying to hurt you, but I will if I have to. I'ma tell you what I do. Run away, run away. Baby, I'm a fighter, never backing down. Baby, I'm a soldier, standing my ground. So if you're gonna fight me for my heart, are you gonna get these battle scars? Baby, I'm a tiger, 20 steps ahead. Baby, I'm a bike, go one bike to bed. So if you're gonna fight me for my heart, are you gonna get these battle scars? Baby, I'm a fighter, never backing down. I'm a soldier, stand in my ground, so keep you gonna fight me.